So this is the Max, Paul and Alistair Reid matchup. We've got Max Paul leading away here, both boats on port, out to the starboard side of the starting box. Reid following Paul. Max Paul just trying to slow the game down and, you know, it's a bit of a stalemate at the moment, seeing who's going to pull the trigger first on either some circles and just gain some separation and a bit of control in this pre-start. Trying to use this media boat as a bit of, bit of a separator, a bit of a barrier. Paul able to get a jive in. Reed happy to split and now follow back. Both boats coming back together. Reed jiving onto starboard. Paul crossing over the front here. Wind's really starting to drop out, so both boats just need to be aware of their time on distance coming back to the line. Super important that both crews are looking up the course as this, this weather will change as it gets later into the start. About three minutes to go. About 100 to 200 metres away from the start line. Max Paul still leading away. Both boats slowly starting to steer up onto, onto close hauled course, heading back towards the start line. Max Paul doing a great job using his obstructions to separate both boats, just to mix the game up a bit. Both boats just laughing with a bit of separation. Reed with a big bow, bow forward. Now bringing the bow down, Reed to really engage Paul. Try and push him, try and encourage him to come back towards the start here. Super important that they have their time on distance right. Paul's got to be really careful, either he doesn't get hooked, as he could get hooked here, he's a bit slow. Reed's done a great job, and now he's come in for the hook. Slowly pushing him up, Paul responding, and having to tack instantly here. Reed's slowly going to follow, boats leading away from the start again. Umpire's giving that a green, one minute to go. Paul really not in control of this pre-start looking for any opportunity to regain control. So using the media boat, which is really smart. Both boats splitting either side. And Paul's got that separation. He's done a great job being able to split read between him and the media boat. So Paul, now it's, now it's key. Can, can Reed stall this game down enough to lead back to the start with enough time? Or has Paul nailed this and can really push Reed early and gain control at the last moment. Paul has all the speed and has the control. Looks like they're on time. Paul trying to push as hard as he can here. Reed very happy just to lead into the line. Reed's done a fabulous job here, leading back nicely. And that's go, well done, Reed. And Paul tacking out straight away, Reed falling straight on top. Really smart there, controlling the game until later on and you know what the game's gonna really look like. So staying in control, really solid work. You can just see the crew is just working a lot harder on Alistair, Reed's boat, hiking. Everybody's up on the gunnel, working hard. Max Paul just not getting the boat up to speed as quick. Still a crew learning the boat, first time sailing this kind of boat. Uh, and same with Alistair Reid, but he's also got a few people on board who have sailed this before. So that's really showing. Both boats happy to truck out to the right here. Alistair Reid just gaining all the time. Slow control of this race. Why do you reckon they're heading out right, Connor? So both boats are heading right, now just tacking onto starboard. Max Paul must believe there is a right hand advantage. So that's why he was happy to sit in bad air for a while and you can see he's going straight back into another tack after being slammed on. And we might just see a bit of a tacking duel here. So it's going to be up to the crews to really keep the boat moving and get it up to speed. Reed's doing a really nice job getting a lot of roll into this boat, keeping it powered up. When Max Paul and his crew look like they've stalled the boat a lot. 
super important in these conditions to be looking forward and being observant of what's going to happen. The ESC is very tricky and unpredictable. So Reed really happy just to sit on top here, keep control. He knows his tacks are better and you can just see he's slowly now just gaining away half a length per tack. So Paul's tacked again in response and Reed following the same. Both boats really slow here, not up to max speed. So it is really up to the crews to be really accurate with their tacking. I'm actually going to say a little gain to Max Paul there. It's much closer than it was a few moments ago and Reed having to respond here. Max Paul right back in this race, much closer than it was. So Max Paul was clearly seeing the win really cleanly here, which is fantastic. Patience might pay off. So this is the biggest split we've seen since the start of the race between both boats. Max Paul heading out to the right hand side, Alistair Reid heading out to the left. Max Paul's tacked back to match and not get too far left behind. So very interesting here. Both boats happy now to head left. Bit of leverage between both boats. Alistair Reid really looks like he's comfortable. He's got that boat absolutely rocketing. Looks like Max Paul's crew's got a lot on there. Just doesn't look settled. The boat doesn't look quite up to speed as Alistair Reid's. Looks solid in the wind. Looks like it wants to go fast. So they're going around this green mark here. Now what are the hoists like? This is, this is the key. If you can have a nice clean hoist, you can jump them very quickly. Pretty average hoist there on Reed. Just very sloppy crew work. Bit of a wine glass. Just unforced errors that can make the difference here. They've still got a wine glass and they're not really prioritizing that problem. Max Paul with a hoist coming up. They can get this right, they can be right on the tail here. Great set by Max Paul and his crew. Just need to trim that kite on a bit better. So here we go. Who's gonna get their kite set first? At this stage, no one. Max Paul, great job. No pole set. Alistair Reed, half mast kite with a big wine glass. Great for a lovely rose on a summer afternoon. Max Paul hunting them down here, it's game on. We've got a race on our hands here. So uh, Alistair Reid's got quite lucky there getting that kite sorted and not losing his lead too badly. So, gotten out of jail, but still just sloppy trimming from their trimmers. So that's something they really need to sort out quickly. Max Paul looks like he's got the boat really moving, doing a great job, great kite trim. So how does the bottom mark play out? This is gonna be very interesting from both boats here. Both got a, a jibe to go into the bottom. Super important, again, every time we go around a mark, it's all up to the crew and how smooth they are at dropping sails and re-hoisting. There's a jibe from Reed there and a, and a kite drop. Paul's a bit late with a jib up here, it could be interesting. Safely around the bottom from Reid, really clean drop, well done. Paul's done well, he's right on his hammer, so it's much closer than what it was at the top mark, so it's still all to play for. Paul's just got to hang in here and keep it close. As we saw, just clean boat handling, great crew work can really make a race for them, so 
well done to him and his crew for crawling back a bit of a, a bit of after a bit of a rough first up wind. Super shifty here out in the course. You can see the gas are in and out, and the boats are quite unstable. Both boats tacking. Reed following straight on top of Max Paul's face there. Great tack by Reed's crew. Reed up to speed, powering. The boat looks great in the water here. Everybody up on the edge, hiking hard. Max Paul very much in a compromised position, being covered. You can see that jib's not quite all the way to the top, so a bit of softness in the in the luff of the sail, which is really hurting them. Paul's just got to be patient here. Keep this race closed, keep it fast, and just hope he can beat them on the hoist. Great shot there of both boats sailing upwind. Alistair Reid in a really nice controlling position there. If Paul decides to attack, he can respond. Doesn't matter what the wind shift is, he can keep the race in his control. Wind collapsing here. Reid just a bit slower there, I think, to get the boat through that next phase of the wind. So Paul's probably made a little gain there, which is fantastic to see. But Reid always in control, not allowing Paul to get any sniff of advantage. Paul's done a great job, kept it close here. Yes, he's hurt by being in dirty wind for a long time, but he hasn't risked losing this race by doing anything silly. So here we go, we're gonna to come to the top mark here. Who can get the better rounding? Who can get that boat up to speed? No poles again for either crew. I think that's a massive thing. If you can get your pole up, you can make such an advantage on the hoist. A no pole hoist is painful if it goes wrong. So how does this play out? Much better for Reed. Really nice hoist. The main sheet trimmer was able to get their body forward and human pole. So no, that's a fantastic job there. Pole not quite as good, quite messy there. Kite not setting, trimmer's not getting the kite back and breathing outside of the main. So this is a compound effect of just not trimming properly. Okay, and they're slowly getting it to draw now. Reed's away here, really nice sailing by him and his crew. Big thing too in conditions like this, someone on your boat must prioritise looking backwards and very good. You can see the main trimmer on Paul's boat looking back, keeping an eye on the wind. No one on Reed's boat has looked back yet. They're just relying on their blind sailing and boat speed to win this race, which yes, can win, but also is risky. Paul still doesn't have a pole on. Going through a jibe now. Reed instantly responding. Can Paul make a little bit of a comeback here? Or is it all a little bit too late? It's gonna be interesting how strong this puff is. Reed's kite looks a little bit compromised. Doesn't look quite as stable here. Yeah, look at that. Paul's right on his breeze. Great job. Some for young and old here. It's never over. Max Paul just really starting to soak, trying to put the pressure on it. You can see Reed's kite just doesn't want to set as easily. It's just a little bit fluttery and doesn't want to breathe. Great trimming by Max Paul and his team there to really affect Reed and their spinnaker. And into another job we go. Both boats flopping over. 
Max Ball, very nice jibes, really putting the pressure on. But Reed, with a very comfortable lead, has this race, if not already sewn up. Very nice sailing from the get-go. Timed his run into the start brilliantly and stayed and controlled. Didn't let anything, didn't let any opportunity of Paul's accelerate risk and stayed in control of that race. Well done to Alistair Reid and his crew.